Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to talk today about my favourite debuts of 2018. Ever since I joined the book community back in like 2010, I have really enjoyed spreading the word about debut authors because I think it's very important to do so. And oftentimes they come out with absolutely fantastic books that I love. So I wanted to share the ones that I've enjoyed the most this year. I realise there are still a couple of months left of the year, but to be honest, I just wanted to do this video. The first book that I want to talk about today is A Girl Like That. I have been fangirling over this book for months now. I think I read it back in March or April and it's absolutely fantastic. It's a YA contemporary. It's about a young Muslim girl who lives in Saudi Arabia and at the beginning of the book she dies and throughout the rest of the story you get flashbacks and you hear about how the other people around her treated her and how she was kind of viewed or respected or not respected for either not conforming or conforming to society's rules and I thought this was absolutely brilliant. It kind of struck a chord with me. I don't know why I loved it so much. I think partly it was the setting because I haven't read many books set in Saudi Arabia, especially YA. I don't think I've read any before. And I just really like the author's perspective. This book is definitely one of my favourite books of 2018 overall because it's just written so wonderfully. The second book I want to talk about is Love, Hate and Other Filters. This is about an Indian American teenager who is also Muslim. It's a YA contemporary, own voices, and it just covers her Islamophobia basically. Again I thought this one was written really really well. I read it last year and I can't remember much of the plot which is disappointing but I just remember loving it. It was just really interesting to read about main character who was struggling with balancing two different cultures and also all the shit she was dealing with day to day. People Like Us is another one that I want to mention. This is a YA thriller. The main character is openly bisexual and there are various other side characters who are also queer which are obviously points in this book's favour. The basic plot of this is that a classmate dies, her body is found in a lake and there is an investigation to figure out what went on and then the main character starts receiving messages from this dead girl so she needs to find out who's sending these messages because this girl is definitely dead and who killed her. I really really enjoyed this one, it felt very dark and gritty and it was just a really well written thriller and then the ending there was a twist that just kind of like I didn't see it coming. I thought something might happen, but I didn't see what it was coming at all. Unfortunately it was kind of obvious as to who was doing all of this stuff. Um, I wasn't shocked by that part, but then the ending happened and I was like, I didn't really care. Then there is The Dangerous Art of Blending In, which I also read last year. And this is about a Greek American boy who is also gay and his mother is abusive. I really struggle with books that feature domestic abuse. Whether it's a parent abusing a child or the parents abusing each other, I just really struggle with it. But this book was absolutely phenomenal. I would say go into it very, very cautiously because the mother in this book is absolutely awful to her son. I thought it was really really well written and it was respectful and own voices as well. It's basically about the son as he comes to terms with his own sexuality and how he deals with abusive parents and how he kind of just gets away with them and forms his own life. Then there is the exact opposite of OK by Laura Stephen. This is, I think this is UK YA, I can't actually remember, but it's about a girl called Izzy who is caught on camera having sex with a politician's son and obviously, because she's the woman in this relationship or scenario, she gets all the blame for it and she is slut-shamed and bullied and basically a lot of stuff goes down in this book. It might look really cute, but it covers a lot of darker and more triggering stuff. I did really, really enjoy this because while it did cover all of these things, it was also really, really funny and well-written. Also, I think there's going to be a sequel, so I'm really, really looking forward to reading that. And finally, the last debut that I would like to talk about that I've actually read is Out of the Blue by Sophie Cameron. This one is kind of magical realism. It's set in the real world and angels or beings start falling from the sky. The main character is dealing with the loss of her mother and also the loss of her best friend slash girlfriend. So this one covers a lot, especially in terms of grief and I really, really enjoyed it. Obviously I enjoyed all of the books that I'm talking about, but this one really surprised me because I wasn't expecting to like it so much. I don't normally enjoy paranormal books all that much, and this one was less paranormal, more magical realism. And to be honest, I think it was mostly the emotions that it made me feel that made it so good. I just really liked the overall message that it was sending. And then there are also five 2018 debuts that I haven't read yet, but I'm dying to. So the first one is Children of Blood and Bone. In case you're wondering why I haven't mentioned it yet, that is why I haven't actually read it yet. The next one is You'll Miss Me When I'm Gone, which came out in the US at the beginning of the year. This is a YA contemporary. Gunslinger Girl. I don't actually know what this one's about, but I really like the title and the cover, so I'll be reading it, I hope. Tyler Johnson Was Here, which has been likened to The Hate You Give and Dear Martin. One of those I loved, the other one I was kind of meh about, but I'm hoping this one's going to be really, really good. And then finally, I Stop Somewhere, which covers sexual assault, I think. So those are all the 2018 debuts I wanted to talk about today. I might do another video towards the end of the year to cover the ones that 
you know, I mentioned that I want to read if I do end up reading any more debuts. But these are the ones that I would highly recommend that you go ahead and buy because they are so strong and just so fantastic that I think everyone should read them. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye!